What's going on, YouTube? You're back with Shades. We're going to continue our Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. Now, I want to be totally honest with you guys. I already passed this point in, a, in like a previous recording, but the thing is because um, the button system isn't like really good for our keyboard, um, I got really mad at the game and just pressed on anyway out of frustration. Um, so I didn't like do what it, do the next bit correctly. So now I'm going to um, go find Tifa and then we're going to get Cloud in a dress and we're going to do it properly. We're going to do it so goddamn properly. I don't care. I, I want to do the scene properly. I want to do it justice. I may not be trying to do a perfect run, but I want to do everything else properly. Uh, where are we? Wow, I didn't realize how... I didn't realize how, like... Because I'm looking at a walkthrough. And I, I, I know I hate saying that but um uh like it, it just it just like how much money do i have by the way um a good amount of money let's see if i can buy something at the shop oh what the hell why am i moving oh i'm hitting the wrong button that's why but um like uh i, I i'm not doing like a, i'm not playing the game for a perfect run but i do want to experience all like the cutscenes and things like that well, did I buy more? Did I buy, like, prop? Oops, I have my webcam still on. Oops. Oopsie. Uh, did I buy w m gear for everyone at this point? Like, this is... I I'm reloading an old save, so I'm not sure where I am. Let me just double-check that first. It's called Machine Gun. I did not. But... I... Gritty has an assault gun. Titan Bangle, Mithril Arm. Okay, cool. Uh, hold on. I, like, once again, the, the buttons aren't exactly the best. I like how we haven't found another Buster Sword for him yet. Let's see. Let's give me that Mithril Armlet. And give it um, and uh, give it a Titan Bangle for now. Anyway, I got everyone the new weapons, and now we're good to go. So now I need to figure out where Tifa is by going to the front of the Honeybee Inn, or is it just called, or is it just called the Honeybee? Don't remember. But anyway, here we are, and now we're gonna go there. But yeah, like I said before, I'm not doing a perfect run, but I want to experience all the cutscenes. I think we're talking to this guy. Nope, nope, nope. Hello, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir! Oh, no way. Oh, that, that's still the guy. I need to talk to the guy talking to the bouncer, but can't get to him. Welcome! Even unpopular dudes like you may meet their destinies here. Excuse you, I'm pretty sure a good amount of people see Cloud as their husbando. Looking for a girlfriend, too? You know a girl named Tifa? Hey, you're pretty fast. Tifa's our newest girl. But unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. At the Honeybee, here at the Honeybee Inn, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken into Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo's a famous dilettante. Now he wants to settle down and is, in, as in, and is in the market for a bride. So now we know where she is. Now we're going to go up to Don Corneo's mansion. And then we get, we're going to get pushed away. And then we can start looking for dresses. Cool. I don't think it matters what dress you pick. But, if you, but you have to accessorize perfectly well. Hello, sir. This is the mansion of Don Cornio, the most powerful man in Wall Mock. Look, the Don's not into men, so don't let me catch you around here again. Hey, you got a cute one with you. Hey, this looks like Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Tifa about you. No, you can't. Why? Do you know what kind of place this is? And what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that'd be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. But I can't just let you go in alone, oh man. First we need to find out if Tifa's alright. Sorry if I'm picking at my lips, like my lips are dry and I'm trying to get rid of the skin. What's so funny, Aerith? Cloud, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. What? Just wait, I got a cute friend I want to bring. Aerith, I can't. You are worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on and hurry. She, she's not wrong. We gotta go save Tifa. But for now, let's go, uh... 
uh, we need to go to um, Giuseppe's um, uh, cloud, um, not cloud shop, uh, clothing store. Talk to his daughter. Excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Um, it might take a little time. Will that be all right? What's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. So you see, he makes all the dresses. And where's your father? He's probably plastered at the bar. So you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father? Yeah, I'm sorry. He caused so much trouble. You tell you tell me bring him back. Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? Please help me, crazy old dad. I just don't know what to do anymore. All right, we'll do something. Let's go, Cloud. I like how Cloud's basically being dragged around place at this point. He's like, well, I gotta save my friend, so I'm gonna put on a dress. I mean, to be fair, I, like, I probably do the same thing, but I don't think I look good in a dress. I've done makeup before. Excuse us, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? I said this in the last part, but I could not tell that that was a girl. <laughs> I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes. I don't feel like making anything right now. Cloud, you wait over there for a second. I'll try to talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? You know, mister, he always said he like that just once. He liked to dress up like a girl. That's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that? Well, so how about it? Will you make him one? Might be interested. I was getting a little bored of him just making regular clothes. Then you'll do it for us? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? Something that feels soft. Something that shh. Something. Hmm. I forget which dress combo does what. Uh. Do you want a silk, satin, or cotton dress? Don't go satin. Shiny. Hmm, you got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Well, shit. <laughs> Clouds is just... I know this was, like, at the time, this was, like, a joke. Like, oh, a stereotypically f masculine dude, like, putting on a dress. Ha, oh, funny. But to be fair, like, I wouldn't mind. If the dress fit. Oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try it on. Receive key item, satin dress. Ugh. I mean, like, from a, like, a... From a better perspective, this is like an issue about consent. Like, Cl Cloud does not feel comfortable wearing a dress. If he did, it'd be a different issue. Also, there's a schoolgirl dress right over there. Nice. How do you put this on? Whoa, what are you doing? It's still not right. A wig, that's what you need. Um, I thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people that are like you. Go talk to them. Like you? Aerith, what did you tell him? Doesn't matter anyway. We got a pretty dress. To the gym. Oh yeah, this is the part that pissed me up before because like it doesn't tell you the button prompts you need. It tells you what the buttons do. And I got mad because I'm just like, I don't know which buttons are the controls. So I'm like, guys, you got to tell me these things. And like I got real mad. So, so I just like fast forwarded the rest of it just because I was frustrated and wanted to get, get away from it. But now I'm like, I have a calmer head. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna press on like a good boy so the first thing we do is get a wig hopefully the best wig I'm not I'm not too keen okay okay we ready guys I'll reload if I have to but are we ready are you the ones who want to be cute cute right and about the wig yeah I heard but it'll cost ya Urgh, big bro the only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can beat big bro that's right. So you gotta compete with us. You're right, let's do squats. All right, we'll beat you out of this gym. Are you the, the beautiful bro? What, you don't know? Always running around here saying big bro this and big bro that. Never mind that, come over here. I love these guys. No, I'll explain the rules. From ready position, you push switch, squat, cancel to get up, and okay to go back to the ready position. So it's switch, cancel, okay. I remember what buttons I set for this, because no, now it's going to be easy for me. Got it? Got it. Whoever has the most squats, 30 seconds of the wig. I'm not going to lose. Big Bro's wig is mine. Just be quiet. It's not fair for you to start away. Do you want to start some practice? Yes. Let's start practicing. Oops. Goddamn. Gotta fix the tempo. Gotta fix the tempo. 
pretty sure there's like a speed runner way to do this, but I want to make sure that I'm getting the tempo correctly. Okay, good, good. This is actually pretty cool for the time. Like, I don't know a lot of games nowadays that do this. That, like, have button prompt. Well, it's basically a QTE. You had 19 squats. Now let's begin the real thing. Start. Oh. Oops. God damn it. I'm so focused. I don't want to lose. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna... I don't want to lose too much tempo, but that guy keeps messing up, so it's gonna be fine. He had 16, you had 19. Yes! You're really something. Okay, I'm mad at my word. Here you are. Received a key item. Blonde wig. Big room. I'm so mad. I'm so, so, so mad. Oh, God. Shut up. Don't cry just because you lost. Ugh, bro's fists of steel cut to the bone. Okay, now we can leave. Okay, now we have the wig and we can go. We look passable as a girl, but now we need to accessorize. Because a girl's got to accessorize. But, like, so... Okay, talk to per- I'm gonna- I'm gonna read it from the walkthrough, so talk to the person standing there in the room. Lou and Big Bro give you a nasty wig, he'll give you- and he'll give you a dyed wig. When they give you a blonde wig, with a dressing wig in hand, you'll everything you get in However, if you're bent on being the girl the mo with the most cake and promise of the- <laughs> Um, and some of the shock- okay. Uh, okay, so... If you wanna- if you want to be the best girl, you gotta accessorize. So, okay. When you, okay, so, uh, head for the materia store located in the upper right corner of the lower half of the market. There's a materia store? I didn't know there was a materia store. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, maybe I did and I just didn't care. Hey, man, got a minute? I need to talk man to man. What is it? Really, I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but young lady, would you turn away for a second? Why? Aerith. Gosh. Sorry, lady. Now, here's the thing. You know the vending machine at the end? I am itching to know what they're selling it. I can't get, ask a girl to go get it. Why? Why don't I buy it myself? Well, tell the truth, I got in a fight with the guy at the end and can't go there anymore. So how about it? Sure, why not? I'll go. Good, thanks. I'll be waiting here when you're done. Finished. Okay, so, wait. Where... Locate the upper right corner of the lower half of the market and talk to the owner. He'll perform a corporate espionage. Agreed. Spend the night at the inn. What? What? Is, is Was that it? Getting a vending... Buying the vending machine thing? Okay. Okay, sure. Where's the vending machine? Is this it? I can't tell. How how do I interact with it? How do I interact with it? How do I do this? Stay, I guess. Okay. Okay, when you go to the vending machine, make a purchase, give it to the owner of the material store next morning. Trade 50 gil item will get you a glass tiara. 100 gil item will get you a ruby tiara. 200 will get you a diamond tiara. If you barge it on the toilet hog, you have a medicine. So. Let's go all in. 200 gil. Uh-huh. I don't understand why I couldn't ask a guy to, uh, girl to do this. Thank you very much. Come again. Cool. Um, agree and spend a billion the other When you go to the vending machine, make a purchase. Uh, and if you barge in on the toilet hog in the far left corner of the bar, you know she doesn't need a medicine. To help her out, head for the diner located between the boutique and the materia store. Oh, you mean that person that was like, like, like fidgeting in the corner? Um, so, okay. So, head to the diner looking... Boutique and material store. Sit down at the vacant stool and order order any meal for seventy. Tell the server it w it was all right. Just give you a pharmacy coupon. Cool. This isn't the pharmacy. This is this is the wrong place. I know what diner they're talking about. It's this one. 
set empty stool set, set the empty sit down what do you have oh Korean barbecue is good or sushi plate all the local specials are good too I'll go with Korean BBQ one Korean barbecue plate coming up love the love Korean barbecue it's so good Thank you, just a second. There you go, enjoy. It was alright. Thank you, it's a nice item coming from the pharmacy. You can change it for one item there. That was our last coupon. Yay! Okay, cool. Now we go to the pharmacy and do or disinfect the deodorant or digestive. Return to the bar and give it. Just, if you give her disinfectant, she'll give you cologne. If you give her deodorant, you'll give you flower cologne. If you give her digestive, they give you sex cologne. So let's get a digestive from the pharmacy and then give it to the person who has a uh, pharmacy man. Whoa! Don't just stand there, say something. I have a coupon. Please select any one minute you'd like. Digestive. Here you are. And then we go to the. This is so funny because I'm just like. None of this stuff is on the nose. Like, you'll hear it from NPCs. Like, I talk to the NPCs, and you hear it from them. But, like, it's very clear you don't have to do it. it give, like, the game gives you the minimum, but you can go the extra mile if you really want to. Which is cool. And then this person is freaking out over here. Hey, could you do something for me? Someone's been in there all day, and they're not coming out, and I can't hold it anymore. Is it this person, or is it that person? Do I go to the bathroom? Hey, someone's there. Don't look. Give her medicine. Really? Give me some thanks. Phew, I feel better for now. This is for your kindness. Sexy cologne. Hey, girl, you're looking pretty hot yourself. Can't move. Whoops. Okay, cool. <laughs> and she's gone. Okay, so what do we do next? Sexy Cologne. Final destination will be the infamous Honey Bee Inn. Whew, here it comes. Here it comes. So we're going to the Honey Bee Inn next, and this is the scene I've been waiting for. <laughs> the, the, the one, the, one of the many scenes that I'm pretty sure will be amazing in um, the HD remake. But God, if they take the scene out, I'll be so mad. I, I get, like, the thing is, like, at the time, this was this was like the like one of the higher higher up games as far as like graphics go, and like, um, so like, like they knew what they were doing. So in the HD remake, they might like you know continue to do this. Okay, so how am I gonna get into the Honey Bee Inn? Talk to the indecisive man pacing the lower right corner of the lower half of the market. He'll give you his members card. This guy. Nope, I just can't make my, my mind. Here, you take this. You won't be able to get in without it. Yay, member card. Cool. Uh, head right and talk to the doorman to get in. Cool. Here's a member's card I see shining in your hot little hand. Please, come in. Looks like I need to go inside to complete my disguise. Hmm, sure, good excuse. Cloud's not into that kind of thing. He's too classy. See ya. Who, uh, uh, I, uh, mean, sir. Hurry. Okay. Uh, head right, talk to the doorman to get in. Choose one of the occupied rooms on the left side of the room. If you enter the group room, Muki will give you the bikini briefs. If you enter the, the, the fuck room, talk to the honeybee before she leaves and she'll give you the lingerie. If for an extra touch, go to the dressing room beyond the far door in the lobby. Talk to the honeybee on the left and she asks her to do your makeup. When you're finished, head for the boutique and enter the fitting room and get changed. Okay, so you can go to the group room and you'll get bikini briefs. You can go to the fuck room and get, like, the lingerie. Okay, cool. Where are the doors? Oh, these are the doors. Whoops! Wait, what am I doing? Please choose a room. Gosh, she's so weird, but then again, they all are. The fuck room. Old ground. This is oh, what's this? Uh, 
Okay. Lover's room. Take a listen. Okay, cool. Let's do... What's this room? Okay, come on. Give me, give me the group room. Old ground. Okay, so let's go into the fuck room because we want lingerie. <laughs> I guess I'll take this one. I'll take this room. Alright, now all I have to do is enter the room. You're not going to have a change of heart, are you? Let me repeat myself. Oh, don't be angry with me. Jeez, this one's probably of the violent type. Hey, I'm awesome. I, I'm, I respect whammon. Alright, please. This game, however, does not respect whammon. Hmm? You? What are you doing in a place like this? That's what I wanted to ask you. Should you be fooling around here? You think problems go away just by thinking about them? Oh no. Help! Someone hurry! I forgot that that happens. I still don't know why that happens. You can't change anything just by sitting back and looking at it. What are you saying? It started moving. What has? Wake up. Rub, rub, rub. Oh god. This is beautiful. Uh, ow! Clouds HP and MP restored. Wake up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wake up! Phew, I'm so relieved. Bobby, I heard you collapsed. No, no, no. Huh? Hmm, they say youth is so long yet so short. Let's give this one nickname when you're back shot. Time's up. Bye, Bubby. This is hilarious. See, he just, he just thinks nothing of it. I'm so sorry. There's a lot of adult things going on. For your inconvenience, please take this, okay? Yes. What's this rag? For me, I just don't get it. Okay, and then you can ask someone to do your makeup. I think it's this one? No, which one? Uh, for extra touch, um, go to the dressing room beyond the far door of the lobby. Talk to Honeybee on the left and ask her for do you make up the left. So this one? If I were to dress up like a woman, then I've got to really prepare carefully. I should be able to put makeup on here. Have them make me up. I have a favor to ask you. Can you put makeup on me too? Paste, paste, paste. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I guess that I guess that's it. Okay, cool. I that wasn't really clear that they did it, so Uh sir, it's almost closing time, so please remember any personal belongings. Back up. Hey Cloud You guys do anything with my friend here? Eric, thanks for the flower and one gill. I'll treasure it. I'll keep I'm going to dry it and keep it for good luck. I bought some pretty flowers from Aerith. 500 gil, a little expensive, but well, at least I got her name. What about this guy over here? He asked Aerith for a date, and she said not even if I paid her a million gil. Her flowers cost 300 gil, though, too. She's a good businesswoman. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Now I got everything I need, and now we're just gonna we're just gonna go and uh, put on the dress now. We're gonna go see Don Corneo. That's his name. I think I, 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 think I got his name right for the most part. I just gotta change. Okay, I'm ready. One drugs, please. My man. Hmm, not bad. This may be a new business for me. Yeah, you're right. Should we try it? Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back now, so the dress is on the house. Walk more nicely, like this, Miss Cloud. What did you mean, nicely? Oh, you're so cute, Miss Cloud. Oh, I want one, too. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How's this? How about that one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. I want this one. I'm gonna change. <laughs> no peeking. 
Yes, I know my time's up. Watch. And a sexy red dress for Aerith. Can't wait to see this in HD. <laughs> Mostly for Cloud and a dress. <laughs> so, how do I look? And Cloud is exasperated. Oh, you're no fun. Woo! Uh. Okay. So, now we gotta go to Don Corneo's house. But anyway, I have to end this part for now because my timer just went off. But yeah, this is one of the cool things about this game is, is that, like... Um, like... It gives you the bare minimum of what you need to do, but there's so much side, like like every RPG, there's so much side quest that like, uh, that like, oh god, um, that like it, it'll make your experience more interesting or more funny or more entertaining, depending on what you what you're into. So anyway, thank you guys so much for, for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me or from the series, hit the subscribe button. And you're exiting the Shadyverse. My name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the shade. See you guys next time. Bye.